Hello everyone, I'm Anna Vanilla. Welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts. And on this channel we talk about arts, creating beautiful things and doing lots of things from yarn, from paper, from anything that comes to my mind. I do videos about I'm showing you how I do it and hopefully you can learn from me a couple of things that you might not know and in this video um, I'm doing this pattern for you it's a headband with a very interesting um, pattern the color is fantastic um, I've got 19 stitches here 19 loops uh, the needles are size i think size number five no four four point five yeah four point five the um the yarn is actually acrylic yarn simple yarn so what we need to do is um take the first loop and we make a front stitch like so to make sure we preserve the edge so that the edge is straight every time when we are wearing it we do two pearl stitches then three one two three front stitches two pearl stitches three front stitches two pearl stitches three front stitches two pearl stitches and the last one we need it as a front stitch to preserve the edge so that it's straight edge we do the second row of this pattern so um, we knit the first loop with a front stitch we do two front stitches three pearl stitches two front stitches three pearl stitches this pattern is very good for beginners so you are welcome to do it three pearl stitches two front stitches and the last one is a front stitch like so now it's time to knit the change the difference so we knit the first loop of a front stitch we need two pearl stitches then with this three front stitches we knit it together with a front stitch we do not release just yet we make yarn over through this needle on the right and then we need again these three loops so we create from three loops we create three other loops then two pearl stitches so three front stitches together we create a loop through the center of them then we do yarn over then we need again this same loops so from three we make three, two pearl stitches and again three from three we make three and two pearl stitches one front stitch at the end then so this is front stitch two front stitches and three pearl stitches this is the next row two front 
to front stitches, three purl stitches, and this is how we need this row. Now it's time to knit one more time um, this is, is supposed to be fourth row so first loop we, we need it as a front stitch to purl stitches and then again we take this three front stitches and we need three so one stitch and then yarn over and then we need it again with three stitches together so we create three to three stitches two purl stitches three stitches we create like so one two purl stitches three stitches one two three and then one two two purl stitches and one front stitch and again we knit it the same way like the previous rows where if we see a purl stitch we need the purl stitch if we see a front stitch we need the front stitch all yarn overs we need with a purl stitch so one two three purl stitches two front stitches three purl stitches two front stitches three purl stitches two front stitches and the last one front stitch then the next uh, thing we do is we do need eight eight rows of um, two front two purl stitches and three front stitches two purl stitches three front stitches so we need eight times to create this kind of amazing pattern like so and then we repeat this thing again we repeat from three we make three and so on but if you don't want to do eight rows of um, the stitches you can do five rows you can do uh, three rows it's all up to you really the pattern is just is fantastic anyhow you do it so I'm wishing you luck in doing this pattern so hopefully we can create beautiful things together now it's time to close the loops so we take the first needle the front needle we pass through the middle of the two loops we grab the yarn through these two loops we create a new loop with it then we put this new loop back onto the need left needle and then we grab again the yarn with the nearest uh, this new loop we add to this new loop the nearest loop as well so we create from two loops we create one loop this is a fresh loop we put it onto the back needle uh, fr um, left needle and then we just take the next loop and knit it together to create one loop and this is how we end up doing it so and we make sure we don't do it too tightly and not to make it too um, 
to lose either so you, you as you can see it forms into some sort of like a little like a braid here that's how it's supposed to look like that's how it's supposed to be and we close the loops to the end And this is our last loop. Now we need to measure how much um, thread, how much yarn we need. We need about three times the size what we need to knit to stitch and then we cut it. And then we use a special needle made for knitting garments which is made of plastic in this case is neon green it's my favorite needle and we take this um, this string and then pass it through the last loop and tighten up and then we end up stitching these two pieces together so we take this needle we pass through the loop the last loop we tighten like so we take actually this way i always knit at the front because this is how i make sure i have i'm in control of doing um the pattern being um well knitted together from the front so it's not from the back so hopefully this is how i do mine you can stitch it for example with other ways other styles uh, with the hook if you like so I like to do it with the needle and that's, this is how I stitch it together And this is how we knit until the end of this um, row. This is how we bond it together. This headband is almost finished but until we finish let me show you how i hide the last um, thread so i basically take this stitch and i follow the braid so i take it like so stitch and follow the braid one braid two braids third braid um i make a little knot to secure it so it does not unravel with wash with wear so i just follow the braid some more to hide the yarn nicely 
and then we can just wear it on mannequin this is it it's finished So from three we made three here and then we needed eight rows of um, it's like a braid really and this is the end result the straight edge is just well made as well again this is the back stitch that I've made as you can see now let's try and see on my mannequin how it looks on my mannequin This is how it looks, worn, being worn, stretchy as you can see. It will look better on a human head, obviously. This is our pattern. It covers the years. It, I mean, the back is nicely made. And it's very simple pattern, yet so effective. I love it so much. I hope you love it too enough to make one yourself and share it with other uh, friends and family members that you have. And please subscribe and um, put likes to my channel and um, please write about what other things would you like me to do that will appeal to you. and. To other subscribers um, I would be glad to know you are doing this pattern yourself and you love it and it's successful for you so thank you very much for watching and see you soon in the next videos I'm Anna Vanilla welcome always to the channel Anna Vanilla Art Bye.